<clears throat> hey, what's happening? What's happening? So I just want to talk to you a little bit about the develop module in Lightroom. This is the brains. This is ground zero for Lightroom. And I want to talk to you a little bit of why. This is actually some frosted lemonade that I make. I love it. And just happens to be the picture I have up. Uh, just kind of kind of run through. Um, let me go ahead and go down here. Now, let's just start over here. These are all presets, basically. You can use, you have your snapshots. Uh, you have your history. Now, I'm going to go through here, and we're going to kick it back to the, like it was. I'm actually going to edit it as we go through this. And then you can have collections and stuff like that. Up here, you can zoom in, zoom out. I always have it at fit unless I need to zoom in for something. And on the other side, we have the histogram, which is always nice to have. These are filters. This is, um, that's the crop tool where you can crop it if you want and, and go from there. I don't want to crop this image. Um, and this is for spot removal if you need that. And then you have your red eye correction and then you have your masking. Uh, with the masking comes a whole lot of tools. Uh, you can select the subject, select the sky. Uh, you can do brushes. You can do radiant range, uh, gradients, which I will use one here in a minute. In fact, let's just go ahead and do that. Um, we will go and you just go there. And then you just size it to what you need. Um, and then you just click, let's see here. I want to darken the background. Now what I want to do, I want to hit invert. And that will darken this background and leave the subject right brightened up as it naturally was. So that's pretty good. That's what I wanted to do. Now you just click done on that. Now we're going to go down. Let's, let's, we'll mess with the white balances, see what they look like. Uh, didn't really change it much. I'll leave it as it is. Um, now we can mess with the white, with the, the temperature and the tint. Uh, doesn't really do much. Now exposure, blah, 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 blah. You got that. You got your contrast. I'm going to brown set up. Or, oh, draw. oh, I don't like that. Never mind. I won't do that. Um, one of the tools I like to use is the texture, though. That's a pretty cool one. Uh, also, contrast, I use a lot, especially when I'm doing landscapes. If I need, I have the curve here. And I can mess with that as needed. You have color, you have color grading. Um, this is something I, I sometimes will mess with. Uh, sometimes not, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. And it's not working for this one. Okay, so there is that. Um, and then you just click, um, and there we go. I'll leave it like that. Okay, now what the one thing I'll do, and you can just go through these. I like I like to do this vignetting uh, a little bit more than I would do. I try to keep it thirty five ish is about the max. I'll push it. You can add some grain if you want, but. This is basically where I am and kind of where things are. Now let's go back to the original. And there is, uh, so that's the difference. Uh, just playing around with it. Uh, and you just learn this, but the, the develop module inside of Lightroom is what you do everything with. So again, just you, you got to learn to mess with it. Uh, I I don't mind using presets, um, and I'll probably am going to do a video just how how I use presets and how they start to get me where they are. Uh, just a quick point of reference: this image was shot with a Nikon Z7. It was shot at 105 millimeters at 3.2, 125th of a second, and 2800 ISO. 
great camera, great lens, great frosted lemonade. So that is that. And I hope this helps somebody. And I'm out of here and God bless you guys.